Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you'd like to see more videos, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button or that bell button to receive updates whenever I upload a brand new video. Now, just like I've got some very beautiful tulips blooming at the back of my garden, I've got some very pretty magnolias blooming in my drive as well. So today I'll show you just how you make them. So to make the magnolia, we need the pasta machine. Even though we're going to be using a groovy board, we need the filling foam pad, the storage board, magnolia petal cutters and veiners, sugar glue, 20 gauge and 26 gauge white or green floral wires. You need six of a 26 gauge because they've got six petals and a rolling pin. And I've also got um, a petal former here or a leaf former to form our petals on. So what we're first going to do is I'm going to get some gum paste. And we just need a small amount. And we're just going to make the center first. We're just going to roll it into a ball and then into a teardrop shape. And for the center, you really want to get the top bit of it really, really thin. In the middle of the teardrop, just create a dent. And then, and just make that a little bit longer and thinner. And I'm just going to snip the top part off, some of it off, and just clean that up. Because I don't want it too pointy, but I want it relatively thin. And then we're going to insert our 20 gauge wire in there. So dip that in the sugar glue and just insert it all the way through to the top. And just pinching it and securing it at the base. just like so and what we're going to do with this top section is we're going to get some more icing and we're just going to roll some little slithers and just attach them on for which all you're just going to do is get some icing and just roll them out just like this And then once you've done this, your, sl your slither, we're just going to glue the center. And we're just going to add lots of these going from the, th the thicker part of the bud to the top. And we're going to cover the whole top section with pieces of gum paste like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and just chop roughly that much off and then that much again and then just roll one side to get that tip again and you want to get this as thin as you possibly can just by rolling it and just do the same for the rest. So just pick one of them up and just glue that down just like so and 
and then you just want to keep going until you've got a few of them. And we want to do quite a few of these until we have a full center of them all covered. So once you've done your center, it should look something like this. And then we will add our second section, which is the bottom part of this, for which I'm going to be using my chrysanthemum cutter. And I'm going to use this because it's the easiest way to do the next section. And all I'm going to do is get some icing. And just, sorry, that's loud. And just roll it out and then pop it into the pasta machine. And we don't need the bottom part of this. We just need the top section. We, we need the petals, really. And then once you've got it at your pasta machine, I've just added some corn flour so it doesn't stick. Just cut it out. And then I'm just gonna roll over it. Pull that out as well. And you want to be very careful when taking this out as they're very, very thin. And I'd, I'd let that sit for a couple of minutes just to get it to hold its shape. And whilst that does that, I'm going to cut out another set. So once we've cut them out, I've just set them aside to let them air dry for a little while. And what I'm going to do is because it's a bit long, I'm just going to cut out some of the bottom section. And I'm only going to leave a little bit of the icing on so they're not, they don't all um, get individually cut. So enough for them to be together, just for the icing to hold them together. And all I'm going to do is, with my sugar glue, I'm going to add some to the bottom of the bud to about half. And a little bit on the wire as well, because it's going to go on the wire too. And then I'm just going to grab one of them and just wrap that round. Just like so. Once you get to the edge, just fold that over and just pinch it to secure it. And you will need to hang this upside down for a short while and just keeps pinching that and securing that until it's on the wire. And then just glue half of these down, just, just where they are. And then the rest will just open up as we flip it over. And what you can do is if you then want to further cut it now that it's secure on the wire, you can take the bottom bit off and secure that in position again. And just twist it to secure it even more. And once you've added one, it should look like this. And then when we, when we add our next one, we'll try and get the gaps in between. 
and you can add two or three of these um, just to get them around the bud. So I'm going to go ahead and add my second one. And again, I'm just going to cover the bottom of the bud with the sugar glue. And I'm going to do the exact same thing and just wrap that round and just overlap like so. And then just pinch, well turn it upside down first and secure that with the glue and then pinch. And then once you've done added both or however many you want, I've only added two. Hang this upside down for around 15 minutes just to have them um, be able to hold their shape so they don't fall back completely. But if it's able to hold its shape upright, then just hang it upright. But if they're flimsy and falling off, then um, hang it upside down and just wait for that to fully dry. And we'll now work on the petals. And then we'll come back and dust this once it's dried. We're going to get our icing. Now, because magnolias are in two colours, the inside part of the flower is white and the outside is like a pinky magenta colour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine both of the colours. So I'm first going to roll it out into a strip, a long strip. And then when I put my other colour on top, I'm going to pop it through the pasta machine to make them stick together. And it's best if you're going to make these with this method, then it's really best that you make all six petals in one go so you're not wasting too much icing. We're going to do the exact same thing with this one. So I'm just going to move that to one side. So I just want a really long sort of slab of icing. And even though it's not perfect, but it will stick together. The pasta machine on the thickest first. just like so and then what we're going to do is we're going to get our knife just leave enough out for the six petal because the groovy board only has five grooves in there so i'm going to pop this into the storage board just so it prevents it from drying and i'm going to get my board and i'm going to now put this on the grooves now, you've got to be very careful when you do it on the, on the groove. You need to get the right colour on the inside and the right one on the outside. So because the pink colour is going to be on the outside, I'm going to pop it into the groove, that colour on the groovy board. Because the white side is always of the inner side of the flower. And then I'm just going to roll over that. And get it down really thin again you still want the bottom part of the flower to be a little bit thicker than the top part but you want to get the petal really nice and thin so once you can see the other color coming through you can take it off the groovy board and take the extra bit off And flip it over and just cut that bit. And I'm just going to pop this in the storage box. And I'm only going to use the one magnolia cutter. You can use both of them if you want, but I'm going to go for a large. 
I'm going to cut out six. And then just pop them in my storage board. Once you've cut out all six, we're going to get our foam pad and we're going to insert our 26 gauge wires in there, in the petals. And we're first going to dip them in the sugar glue and then just insert it at the bottom of the petal. And then we're just going to secure it. So the whiter side of the petal is on the inside and we're just going to get our petal vena, pop it in there and just vein it. We're just going to keep it fairly simple to get it as realistic looking as possible. I'm just going to take it out the vena very slowly and we are going to thin them but we're not going to do it that much. And then what you can do is you can fold the petals as you like to get them more realistic looking so they're natural. Then we just pop them in our apple tray and I'm just going to put that in just like that. And then I'm going to do the same to the rest. I'm not going to curve or fold over all the petals because I want to give the petals some variation. But again, we're just going to dip our 26 gauge wire in the sugar glue and insert it into the bottom of the flower. I'm going to do that for all of them first. So once you've inserted all the wires, we're still going to vein them very quickly. You want to thin them ever so slightly, just softly, very, very softly. And then Just change how you want them to be, fold them, just like so. And then once they hold the shape, just in the apple tray. You can even keep some straight, so you don't need to do all the curves. But it'll just give some, give the petals some nice variation. I'm going to keep one straight just as it is. And then, then put some on your petal former or your leaf former, like I'm going to do now. So once you've done all six petals, we're then going to leave them to completely dry before using them. So now that the petals and the center has dried, we're now going to go ahead and we're going to dust the center for which we're going to use some lime green. And then we're going to use some aubergine combined with a little bit of heather. And we're first going to do the green. And all we're going to do is we're not going to touch the outer section of the flower. We're going to go in and we're going to dust the inside center. It 
doesn't matter if you get some on the outside as well because that's just that's going to get covered in a darker color anyway but you don't color the top bit and you just want to blend that in really well And I think it would be easier to dust it first before adding the outer set. And we're not gonna cut we're not gonna color the top section off the, the center. And then we're gonna get some aubergine and some heather. And we're just gonna go ahead and dust the bottom section off the flower in those two colours. And you want to be quite generous when adding this colour. And you should end up with something like this. And now let's assemble the flower. For which we need some floral tape. And then we're just going to stretch it to release the glue and wrap it where the icing's finished at the bud. Now, the way to assemble the flower is you can either have three petals on the inner center and three petals on the outer side for the outer petals, or you can assemble it all in one go. So you, you apply all six together. That's completely up to you. So we're first going to just straighten the wire and attach our first petal. You want to secure that really tightly. Tear it off and then just to position the petals how you want them, whether you want them slightly open, whether you want them slightly closed. And that's our beautiful magnolia flower done. And this looks just like the real thing. It looks so pretty. You've just got to be careful that you get the right colour on the outside. And that's how the magnolia looks. And as I mentioned earlier, you can either close the flower more or you can have it more open. But yes, that's how you would make the magnolia flower. I love, I absolutely love how this has turned out. And on that note, this video has come to an end. So I hope you've enjoyed that guys. If you'd like to see more videos, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button or that bell button to receive updates whenever I upload a brand new video. So I'm going to leave this with you for you to try. I'll be back next time with another new video. Stay home, stay stay, stay safe. <laughs> stay, safe. <laughs> stay home, stay safe. Thank you for watching and happy flower making.